Morning everyone. Uh, today I'm going to go do the loop of all the melt buildings. Uh, it's going to be cloudy and it's going to be uh, cold. It's gonna, I don't think it's going to hit 50 degrees today. But uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon so I'm going to try and get all these done before it starts raining on me. And if it starts raining I'm still going to have to continue on through them. So uh, let's go get the trailer loaded up and let's get started. Okay, I'll drive around getting uh, some of these uh, buildings done. Uh, it's still not 50 degrees yet. It's uh, what 11:30, and uh, yeah, I don't. It might hit 50 today. It's gonna be close, but if it does, it's gonna be very low 50. But uh, I was just answering uh, messages and talking to my buddy on the phone, and he sent me a picture. Of, he lives uh, about four or five hours north of here. Actually, maybe a little bit longer. But anyhow, he's in Michigan. He lives way up north I guess and uh, there's snow on the ground it's September end of September but it's September and snow on the ground in his his area so um, it's not far from us and it's gonna be cold enough uh, a couple times this week for it to snow in our area too so I'm not ready for it yet but uh, it's coming so I'm going to have to uh, get the, my snowplow spun around on my shop, get it out near where I can grab it easily. Because uh, last year, we had snow early last year also. And I don't want to be in a situation like it happened last year. Of, I had to pull my trailer out, spin it, plow around, hook it all up, put the trailer back in the shop. I don't want to have to go through that this year. so. I'm gonna be getting everything ready to go. Because uh, the way it's looking, we might get a little bit of snow in October. So hopefully I won't have to plow it, but you never know. So uh, I'm gonna get a video at a couple of these uh, places. You've seen them before, but uh, I'm gonna be getting videos where there's not a whole lot of people at. Because this being Sunday, there's a lot of people out and there's a lot of festivals going on this time of the year. So I'm gonna be, I'm kind of working around them. I went to their farthest to one's way where the biggest festivals festivals were this morning so i was in and out before everything started getting too busy there so uh we'll see you at the next yard okay uh, you've pretty much seen all these buildings before uh this one i'm going to set you up at there's a brand new dollar general right next to it so they're still working on a little bit but that's been open for about a week
forgot to set the camera up. Um, before I got out there, uh, Vicky called me and we were going over our fall sheets and uh, our, our cleanup sheets and how we're changing things and uh, some customers uh, are not, we're not doing any cleanups for this year like we did last year just because we're not doing our cleanups. And uh, since I got distracted with that, I forgot to set the camera up. So what we're discussing is, uh, years past we've had our regular route sheets and we've had a fall cleanup sheet. And what we're gonna do is combine our customers after they're done with the regular uh, season of lawn care, we're gonna combine them on our fall cleanups, just put them all on, actually it's gonna be probably all three sheets, but uh, everybody's all gonna be on them sheets and then we don't have to keep flipping back and forth to get everybody, make sure we don't miss anybody. because. Um, fall is going to be hectic enough as it is, trying to get everybody in before it snows. So um, it should work out better for us. And uh, on our sheets, it has their name, their address, and how much they get paid. Some of them have phone numbers on it because that's the only place we have the phone numbers for them. And, um, they're tagged in our phones, but um, we also have them on the sheets so we can call them. So. Which, uh, I think I'll probably get rid of them phone numbers on there because there's just a little bit too much information there if we have to use the sheets. And so things are changing as they do every year because we keep changing and refining, make our business uh, a little more efficient every single year. Sometimes it we make changes and it doesn't make it more efficient, but uh, most of the time it does. So anyhow, I'm going to go off to the next yard. Um, that one, this next one, I am going to get a video of because that was all weeds. I haven't been back to that in three weeks, so we're going to go see what that looks like and uh, get a video there because there wasn't much grass left there the last time I was there, but we'll see what it looks like now. couldn't really talk I just dropped the camera and just uh, got in and out of there because there was uh, a little bit of construction going on uh, building behind the camera there and there's people all over the place so um, that yard right there last time I was there there was uh, just weeds growing and I didn't think grass would come back uh, the grass has not really come back yet either that's still all weeds there um, there might be uh, grass growing there next year. I don't know, but um, it used to be all real nice grass in front there. Now it's just all weeds because we went eight weeks without uh, rain there, and uh, that's what happens. When grass dies off, weeds take over. So uh, we're gonna go off to the next yard. I'm gonna get you set up on this one. This one's uh, or it takes me a really long time. <laughs> That's it for the building. There might have been a little sarcasm in that part. So anyhow, uh, that little yard is done. Yeah, I was a little sarcastic on that part, but that's yeah, a fun yard. I have a, I think I have about five of them yards like that. They're just little in and out things there. And just pull up to them. I don't even shut the truck off most of the time. I shut the truck off that time because you'd have heard it on the camera. But, uh, I almost forgot to mention we were at the Skag dealership yesterday. 
and uh, this guy grab was there and he had a V ride there so I took that for a spin and um, it took a little bit of getting used to but uh, I think it's uh, something that we I would be interested in in our smaller yards where I use the Toro Time Master. So if I get like a 36 inch I get through all them gates there and I can get them done faster just because bull faster. But also you're in tighter gates and you're going to leave more of a you know, a lot of tighter turning radiuses and I don't know if it would be any better for us or not. So um, that's something to think about. It's something that I don't have to have, you know, because the 36 inch was uh, around $7,000 and I don't have to have that, you know, because I got that Toro Time Master that I'm using today. So um, yeah, it'd be nice to have it, but do I need it? Eh, probably not. So I'm going to pass on that. And then uh, we talked to the steel rep that was there and uh, I had uh, watched a video from uh, b, &B Lawn Care about the BR800C backpack blower and uh, so I asked him if he had that and he asked me how I knew about it because that's not been released to public and I says well it's on YouTube right now and I told him where it was at and he says well I'm surprised they let him do that and I says well it's because it's Blake and that's the way it is. He's popular and everybody likes him, including me. I like watching his uh, videos too. So uh, I tried to get a video. I asked him if I could get a video of, uh, of me testing it out and he said no because he was not authorized to let someone do that. So which I respected that and uh, so I just tried it out and I really liked it. So um, I like the easy start system where you can start with your left hand while it's still on your back because everybody gets a customer that comes up to them when they're blowing the leaves all off and they shut the backpack blower off and then you have to take the thing off to restart it. Well this one you don't have to take it back off and there's a nice uh, strap system that's for over your shoulders and also goes around your waist. And when it goes around your waist it takes a lot off your shoulders so it uh, makes it more, more comfortable. And the volume of air that it puts out against uh, what my Dolmar has, which is six years old, is uh, about twice as much. So it's time to upgrade. So I will upgrade this spring. But anyhow, uh, I'm going on to my last yard here and uh, we'll uh, call it a day.
Okay, that yard is done, and all these yards are done. I just love doing these yards. It takes me four hours to do it, but it's not hard work. We do more driving than anything else. And uh, This time of the year is not too bad for driving. Uh, I'll be back to these in two weeks because these are winding down. I only have two more cuts on them. Well, in two weeks, the colors, the leaves should be at peak season, so it's going to be a nice drive, a real nice drive. So I'll be able to hopefully get a little bit of video on uh, some of them leaves and how they look there. So in the past when I made a video uh, on this loop here, there's been comments of people suggesting that I be charging more because I have to travel and I'm not making any money because I'm driving, um, I'm making money. I'm making just as much money, after actually a little bit more money than I would be running with the trailer, pulling two lawnmowers around. And I'm just driving around. I used to, uh, what, uh, not quite a half a tank of gas today. And one lawn, not too long. Yeah, one lawn pretty much takes care of that gas. And I do six of them today. So, uh, yeah. And that's... Not every lawn is priced the same. It depends on where it's at. The farther away it is, the more expensive it is, just because of the travel time and also the size of it. Well, actually, size doesn't really matter on these things because they're all itty bitty things. But once I'm in town, them those that I use the zero turns on, those are a, a bigger price yet, of course. But uh, I just wanted to clear that up with uh, some people because they didn't understand why I would be doing this. Uh, and it's a very good contract and. They just say uh, at the beginning of season that it's a goal, go ahead and cut the yards, and then I never hear from them ever again until maybe about fall. That's about it when it's close to the end of the season. And they don't bother me, I don't bother them, that's a good thing, because I just send in an invoice every Saturday or Sunday. Um, today is Sunday, so I send it in Sunday because that's when I did them. And uh, I get a check every once a month, I think it is, on them. And it works out good because like uh, end of October, I will uh, take care of the last lawns and about the end of November, I get the last check. So it works out well. You know, and in the spring, I'll start probably about May and then I get my first check in June, which is no big deal. So uh, that is gonna be the end of my video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. If you could check out the links in the description box below, it'd be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a good evening and we will see you at the next yard.